So today we're checking out 10 strangest weather events in the in US history. I already know that the US has some crazy weather, man. Tornadoes, hurricanes, blizzards, craziness. Nothing compared to what I've experienced here in New Zealand at all. We get a rainstorm or a thunderstorm, that's about it. Very mellow thunderstorm. Tornadoes every now and again, but very small. Only big enough to go, kind of go through like one street. And I've never experienced that. I've seen a water spout before though. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> that was when I was younger. But um, so yeah, we're gonna check this out today. I assume that a tornado is gonna be on here. Hurricane, maybe? I don't know. We're gonna get into it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Like this video for the algorithm and let's get into it. From sudden bouts of darkness to tornadoes filled with flames and creatures falling from the sky. Today we look at the strangest weather events in US history. <laughs> Excuse me, what? All right, we're gonna, it's gonna be a wild ride, I think, you guys. It's gonna be a wild ride. Number 10, coldest day. Throughout 2019, the Midwest United States experienced some extremely chilly temperatures, with places like Detroit experiencing minus 14 degree weather, Milwaukee dropping to 21 need, below zero, and Chicago somehow in... surviving negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit. In comparison to the history of the U.S., though, these temperatures are far from the worst experienced by Americans. Minus 30. The coldest day ever recorded on U.S. soil was January 23, 1971, when the people of Prospect Creek, Alaska, endured a terrifying temperature of minus 80 degrees. When it comes to the lower 48 states, the coldest what? day came on January 20, 1954, when Rogers Pass, Montana dropped to 70 degrees below zero. How is Number it, nine, how is that locust possible? plague. Being a Midwest How's farmer in the possible? late 19th century Locust had its life. fair share of obstacles. No modern machinery to work with, fickle soil and weather conditions, and most likely way more physical labor than most people could handle on a daily basis. So imagine how much worse it got for American farmers in 1874 when a swarm of locusts blanketed the sky before diving down on their crops. These insects rained down on the Midwest in droves, with historians estimating their number to be anywhere between 124 billion to 12.5 trillion. As they cut a path nearly 1,800 miles long and 110 terrifying. miles wide, these pesky bugs devoured everything from sugar-concentrated crops to wooden tools, leather accessories, and even clothes the right off the time. backs of bystanders. Their impromptu invasion ended up causing many families to suffer and even perish as starvation became a hazard to those in the area that would become the Dust Bowl. While farm animals like chickens did their part in eliminating the pest by simply eating them, the danger of locust invasion didn't pass until the Rocky Mountain grasshopper went extinct at the turn of the century. Number 8. Black Sunday Speaking of the Dust Bowl, the dust-swept and drought-ridden region of the Midwest began its desolate transformation one fateful day, now referred to as Black Sunday. On April 14, 1935, a storm fell on the prairies of the Midwest, beginning in Oklahoma and Texas. Starting at 4 p.m., winds clocking in at 60 miles per hour swept along the plains, forming a black cloudy wall as they hurtled on. This effect came from loose dirt in the arid region, twisting and obstructing the vision of those who witnessed the storm. It Reports like at moving. the time believed the anomaly to signal the end of days, as the blinding dust storm kept those outside from being able to see their hand in front of their face. The weather event blinded one man and had fatal consequences yeah, for small say, animals like birds and eyes. rodents as it rose thousands of feet into the air what and stretched the? for hundreds of miles. This, this frightening phenomenon went on to inspire real. Congress to pass the Soil Conservation Act by the end of the year in hopes of avoiding such an occurrence from happening again. Oh. Number 7. Satan's Storm on June 15, 1960, the residents of Copperell, Texas began their morning as normal with a typical early temperature of just around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But in mere Science. minutes, the warm desert air rose to an unbearable 100 degrees Fahrenheit out of nowhere. The sudden skyrocket in heat caused thermometers to burst, according to anecdotal accounts. People experienced power failures and false alarms as they awoke thinking something oh, must be on fire. The National Weather Service unofficially reports that the temperature continued rising until it topped out at 140 degrees Fahrenheit and remained there for three hours straight. Eventually, the heat subsided, leaving farmers to investigate the level of damage wrought by the sudden heat wave. In its wake, people found that some cattle perished under the infernal sun, while I'm corn and surprised. cotton cooked off the crop, ruining entire fields of vegetation. This degrees. event earned the name of Satan's storm during its time. 
But today, we know the extreme switch in temperature to be a heat burst. These are caused from a thunderstorm rising and being pushed back down to the surface, leading the air below to become they compressed would be and extremely just like hot. <laughs> Number six, tornado <laughs> tantrums. Hose. Tornadoes plague the Midwest almost annually, is. and at times more than one can touch down in a given place. But on April so 3rd scary. and April 4th in 1974, a flood of tornadoes spread across multiple states in the Ohio Valley, causing over a billion dollars adjusted for inflation in damage and claiming the lives of 335 people in the process. An astounding 148 twisters tore into the U.S., with some reaching a circumference of five miles wide. Then again in 2011, from April 25 to April 28, another flurry of tornadoes ravaged America, hitting as far north as Pennsylvania and New York and reaching down to the deep south. As warm air at the ground level collided with the colder airs above and atmospheric wind shears moved in, these catastrophic disasters left their mark on populated areas repeatedly throughout the three-day span. This time, 349 twisters took the lives of over 300 people and caused $10.8 billion in damage. Number 5. Dark Day In the 18th century, meteorology wasn't anywhere near as exact or capable of explaining weather-related phenomena the way it is today. So it's no wonder that accounts of the day when the sky went dark on May 19, 1780 are so superstitious and foreboding. Following right on the tail end of the American Revolution, the newly founded nation was already tense. So when the sun turned red, black rain fell from the sky carrying the scent of coal fire, and the population had to rely on candlelight in the middle of the day to see, you can understand what? how frightened Americans might have felt. Rather Absolutely. than any sort of Armageddon or Judgment Day, this scary ordeal can be attributed to a forest fire in the Ontario forest. Oh my the origin goodness. of the legendary How Dark Day in New England wasn't discovered until 2007, when forestry experts out of the University of Missouri discovered fire scars in the woods of Ontario <gasps> corresponding to that date. Number 4. Oh raining goodness. Fish We've all this heard the saying, it's raining cats and dogs, but in 1947 the age-old phrase became reality with a bit of an aquatic Sorry twist the as the population guys. of Marksville, Louisiana Guys, evacuate the building <laughs> using the nearest fire exit. Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. There's a fire alarm. So we'll, I'll come back hopefully soon. <laughs> okay, we back, we back. My hair is a little bit crazy and um, whatnot. Luckily it didn't take too long, but I was down in the wind for quite a while just now. Anywho, <laughs> let's get on with the video. I'm so sorry, you guys. My goodness gracious me. It was a false alarm, by the way. It usually is. Okay, let's do it. So up to raining fish in Marksville. Interesting. Indiana left their homes on October 23rd that year. No forecast could have prepared them for the downpour that was to come. According to the Library of Congress, inhabitants of the southern town experienced a torrential shower that brought not only raindrops, but several fish as well. These accounts weren't the hoax they might what? seem to be, as the meteorological huh? phenomenon known as raining animals has occurred many times this across the planet joke. and throughout history. Flightless creatures like spiders, frogs, joke. octopus, and even jellyfish have been reported from China to Honduras over the last two centuries. While the cause of such an event has never been witnessed, the prevailing theory as to what causes such groups of animals to be displaced attribute the phenomena to water spouts and updrafts. Water spouts are the weaker of the two hypothesized sources, as the water-based tornadoes That's capable of seen. flinging I've objects along the water before. at high speeds fail to suck up anything in their path. Updrafts, on the other hand, are strong winds that could more feasibly sweep like up entire communities of, of animals before sending them plummeting to the oh, earth that, below. That the sense. last accounts of raining animals in the U.S. took place in 2007, as worms rained onto Jennings, this Louisiana, so and bizarre. in September 2016, and again in May of 2017, when fish drizzled down into Philadelphia, so Pennsylvania, and Oroville, California, respectively. I thought it Number was just going to be a few soil fish. Cyclone. Tropical cyclones form on the coast of the United States with semi-regularity, fueled by the heat energy they gather Soil from the warmth cyclone. of the ocean. As they move inward towards land and leave the ocean energy behind, they typically dissipate and the thunderstorm that trails them overhead will disperse and fizzle away. But recently, studies have shown that not all cyclones fall apart so quickly, a point proven in 2007 with Tropical Storm Aaron. As the cyclone entered Texas that August, it infiltrated the Lone Star State with wind speeds measuring a measly 40 miles per hour. However, within three days, the tropical storm continued to 
flourish, growing surprisingly strong by the time it reached Oklahoma. In fact, it more than doubled in wind speed from the How time bizarre. it touched land and even eclipsed the strength of the cyclone at its peak while over the Gulf of Mexico. But how could such an anomaly be possible if no water warmth was present to keep the cyclone swirling? Moist soil, as new discoveries have shown, can substitute oh for gosh, ocean water if breached at the right temperature and hydration levels. Referred to as the brown that ocean effect, this abnormality gave tropical storm Aaron a longer life than meteorologists could have ever predicted at the time. Number 2. Fire Tornado during the Car Fire event of 2018, one of the most terrifying weather anomalies of U.S. history occurred when the largest fire tornado ever recorded took shape. Wildfires are all too common in the Golden State, but this specific fire was so massive, the resulting gases formed a pyrocumulus cloud above the raging inferno. This firecrafted thunderstorm videos? helped turn a commonly known fire whirl, which were thought to hit a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour, into a monstrous cyclone of cinder and ash. As the flames blazed on, winds within the tornado reached a speed of 143 miles per hour, rewriting the capabilities and hazards of such natural disasters. This incident was one of only two F3 tornadoes ever recorded in California, the other two oh, spawning from a fiery event in 1926. Due to the size and severity of this one, and the fact that it claimed one casualty, this fire tornado is one of the most monumental weather events of all time. Number 1. Summerless Year also known as the Poverty Year, 1816 was the year without a summer, when temperatures all across the Northern Hemisphere remained frigid year-round, even through July and August. New England reported record late snowfalls experiencing heavy weather as late as June 11th. In the South, cities like Savannah, Georgia only reached 46 degrees Fahrenheit on the 4th of July. Much of the Why? U.S. experienced so a drought weird. that same year in early fall, and winter weather started right back up by September. This freezing so year was the result of an eruption in 1815 from Indonesia's Tambora volcano halfway they around the world. The, the ash and dust of the eruption filled the stratosphere for the next year, blocking sunlight across the <gasps> northern hemisphere, which ended up cooling that oh portion of the planet. Oh my goodness! This video was fascinating, you guys. Absolutely fascinating. Okay, but I gotta say, the number one craziest of this list, of course, is the raining animals you know when they were first explaining it i thought it was going to be like one or two fish like one or two frogs or whatever it was octopus whatever you know i thought it was like going to be like that but then we saw the picture and there's fish all over the ground covered bizarre bizarre jeez louise these very these really are strange the fire tornado mashup sounds like a horror movie. A lot of these weather stories and events literally sound like, sound like and look like horror movies, I think. Like the big, the dust wall. Oh, scary, right? Scary. Cause it's, it's mother nature. Mother nature is so frightening when it gets to those points because there's so much lack of control from humans. It's just no control. You just have to wait for it to be over. Oh my goodness gracious me. That was really, really fascinating, that video. Guys, please let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Really sorry about, first of all, the construction. Second of all, the fire alarm that interrupted us today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I hope you found it as interesting as I did as well. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And thumbs up for the algorithm as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. the store, throw down the smoke, they tell me to quit, don't listen why I'm so, they help me forget that this world is so cold, I don't even know what I'm chasing no more, tell me what I want, just keep searching on, it's never